Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the 2D camera screen box visualizer asset. Uh, so this is something that I created and today I'm going to be going over how to set it up and showing you all the features and how to modify those all to your liking. So we'll start over in Unity and I can kind of demonstrate what this tool does. So you'll see that we have a scene here and it's separated into like three different sections that the player can explore around in. And what the Screenbox Visualizer does is it helps us visualize kind of what the far edges of what our camera can see. So if we zoom in on kind of one of the, the first area here uh, that our player's in, you'll see that there's kind of this yellow outline. So this yellow outline is going to represent uh, the limits of how far the camera can go left or right and up and down. So the XY position of the camera will always be inside this little yellow box here. Now you'll see that if we actually select this camera and we bring it over to the edge, so right when it hits the limit here, you'll notice that the edge of the camera lines up with this sort of green outline here. So this green outline, again, if we move it up to the top, you're going to see this as well. Uh, this green outline basically represents how far the camera can see when it's at its most extreme positions. So, you know, if we go up into the corner, you'll see that the uh, corner of the camera lines up perfectly with this green line here. And so this gives us a real nice way that we can guarantee um, that our camera is never going to be like off the screen a little bit so the player is going to see something off the background or maybe it's overlapping with another scene like this. So basically it just kind of gives us a nice way to keep track of um, everything in our scene here. Um, you'll notice that on these other two the camera boundaries are still yellow however the uh, far extent boundaries are red and that's because uh, this green one this is kind of the initially active one and then the red ones because these are kind of like inactive the camera is not currently in this part of the scene so it's displaying as red so you can kind of keep track of um, what is the currently active screen box just based on the colors and then one other feature I wanted to show you you'll see that if we actually resize our camera so we make it bigger as the camera updates the screen box will increase in size as well so it's always going to give you a real accurate representation and another thing I'll be going over in this video is how we can actually edit the bounds of the camera so if we wanted our camera to go a little bit more to this side or a little bit more to this side we can kind of modify those values on the fly and also if we wanted to modify the values of the screen box itself so we can kind of put the borders to however we'd like we can set them uh, of course the left right top and bottom so I'll be going over all this in this video all right so I went ahead and cleared out the scene a little bit so we can kind of start fresh and start on the same page uh, so of course the first thing you'll need to do is import these assets into your project so if you don't already have those feel free to use the link down in the description so you can go ahead and download those all right so the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and drag the screen box controller script onto a controller game object or a new game object. I just have this attached to an empty game object called Screenbox Controller. And then here, first thing that we're gonna wanna do is set up the main camera. And so this is in reference to the camera that's gonna calculate all these screen box values off of. Um, so I'll just go ahead and drop in my main camera there. So next we're gonna apply the screen box script to the individual areas in our world. So what we're gonna do is go to the parent container game object kind of of this whole area. So I just call these screen box one, two, and three. Uh, you'll see that each one um, is basically this whole kind of thing. It, it encompasses um, the background as well as uh, these little boundaries and stuff like that. So we'll just go ahead and drag the screen box script onto there just like that. And then we'll go ahead and do the same with uh, screen box two as well as screen box three. So now you'll see that um, of course things are looking a little bit different. So we have to set some things up. So we'll just go to the first screen box here. And when we zoom in, you'll notice that um, kind of the screen bounds are just about the size of the camera. They're just right here. And so, of course, we do want to modify those um, to be a little bit bigger. So you'll see that over on the screen box script, we have a current control type. You can either set that to screen bounds or camera bounds. So we'll just leave it on screen bounds for now. And we can just go ahead and click on the button that says graphically edit boundary. So when we click on that, you'll see that we now have some handles that we can drag around. Um, so of course we can kind of expand this out. So we'll bring the width kind of out to here and then we'll move the bottom down to here. And you'll see that when we do that, you'll see that our, our camera boundaries start to appear. 
So again, we can kind of just drag this out to the full uh, width and height of what we need to here. And then, so you'll see that when we're done, we can just go ahead and click the done editing boundaries. And now you'll see that the camera boundaries are all set here and the screen box boundaries are set like that. Now the edge is still showing as red and that's because we need to set our initial screen box. So if we go to the screen box controller and then we can just drag in screen box one to the initial screen box and you'll see that this updates to green because it's going to be the first active one here. So now let's go over to screen box two and we can just go ahead and do that again. So we'll just say graphically edit boundaries and then you'll see that this one we kind of want uh, looking something like this. So we'll get this all set up how we like. And so that's looking pretty good. Um, also, as I mentioned, we can edit the camera bounds. So the current control type, if we go to camera bounds, uh, you'll see that now we can actually determine, we'll say, oh, we want our camera to be able to go, you know, to these boundaries here. And then uh, we can kind of see what our screen boundaries look like off of that. And then maybe we can kind of uh, back off some of these values that are um, kind of hanging over the edge a little bit. All right, and then we'll go to our third area. Of course, we're gonna want to go ahead and do the same thing and just go ahead and graphically edit these boundaries. For this one, I kind of want the uh, screen box to be actually inside the boundaries uh, of these little asteroids so we can kind of bring these uh, right up to the edge. And so that's kind of the edge of uh, what our player is going to be able to see in our game. One other thing, if you do prefer and you want some specific values for your screen or camera boundaries, um, you can go ahead and say specify values and then here you can actually put in, say for the top edge, if we wanted that to be uh, 25, we could do that. Or the right edge will make that 100. Or we can set that just right to 98, right where it was. So here we can kind of have a little bit more specific control if we want some specific values. Uh, for the screen or camera bounds. Again, we can do the same thing with the camera bounds. We wouldn't change that to 90, we could do that. Um, but for the purposes of now, we can just go ahead and I'm going to edit the screen boundaries exactly how I want here. Now, one thing that I should note is if you do ever resize your camera, it's going to resize um, the screen box or camera boundaries based on the current control type. So for example, screen box one, the current control type is set to screen bounds. So when we resize our camera, the screen bounds are gonna stay the same, but the camera boundaries are what's going to change. Now on screen box two, we have this set to current control type of camera bounds. So the camera bounds are going to stay fixed, whereas it's going to update the screen box size. So if we select our main camera, and I can go to the size here and start resizing, and so you'll see that on screen box one, when we resize our camera, the camera boundaries are increasing and decreasing. However, on screen box two, the camera boundaries are staying fixed, but the screen box is what's increasing and decreasing. Um, so that's just something that you wanna keep in mind as you are editing these values. So that's an overview of how to use all the features of the 2D screen box visualizer. Of course, if you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you do have any suggestions for features that could be added to this, uh, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, once again, if you do not already have that asset, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go ahead and download that. But anyways, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.